he's going to lower down. And then when he gets to his bottom range, he's going to pause three, two, one, and then he's going to slowly come back up. So even though we're doing a pause. Hey guys, so today we're going to do an RDL with a pause at the bottom. Now this is for people that either rush through this area or have some sort of form breakdown when they get to the bottom. And this is going to allow us to have the time to get our form back before we come back out, out of the bottom. So it's allowing us to clean up our weakest links because this is a super functional movement. Being able to bend over and pick something up is something that I know I want to be able to do for the rest of my life. You guys too? So this is going to be very similar in the sense that we keep the principles the same here as well. They're breathing 360 degrees into your torso to maintain your spinal positioning. It's staying completely centered over your feet so that there's no rocking back and forth. And we're going to do efficient, slow RDL, pause at the bottom for three seconds, and then come back up. One thing I do want to note here is that Lily did mention that uh, this is really good for people who are kind of weak or have poor positioning or poor positional tolerance at the bottom. With that being said, think about what that means. That means that you're already weak with the loads you're normally using. So by its nature, this exercise is going to require lower load than what you may normally be doing for your RDLs, and that's fine. You're going to choose load based off the hardest position you find yourself in, and then don't go beyond a weight that you can't handle be outside of that position or in that position well, because then we're negating the reason why we are doing this to begin with. And it is a fundamental philosophy difference of thinking you always need to use more weight to get stronger versus taking the time to really clean up your form so that you get stronger because you're stronger throughout the whole thing. You're not just continuing to push. Yeah, and we are big believers in progressive overload. Progressive overload on a tissue level does not necessarily mean progressive overload in an actual loading or weight uh, perspective. Like your tissues do not know how much weight is on there, but if you can shift tension to tissue that hasn't previously had tension, despite the fact that it's lower weight, that's still progressive overload. So there's a lot of things to take into account when you think about progression and actually furthering adaptation and really sparking that uh, cellular cascade of events. That's an awesome point, John. It's more load on the places if you're not loading them in your normal RDL, right? Okay, great. So John is going to show us an example of this. He's going to do it one facing to the side and we'll show one forward as well. So he's going to get his 360 degree breathing. He's going to draw his chin back through his throat just a little bit. And as he keeps his weight centered right over his feet, he's going to lower down. And then when he gets to his bottom range, he's going to pause three, two, one, and then he's going to slowly come back up. So even though we're doing a pause at the bottom, it doesn't mean that everything else gets to be super fast. As you saw, just a normal speed that works for John. Let's show it again. Lowering down, pausing at the bottom. Look at his great neck positioning. His spine is neutral. There's still pressure out with his breath. That was more than three, and then he's going to come back up. Awesome. Let's do that one more time. And when you're here pausing at the bottom, I want you to ask yourself, where's the weight on my feet? Where's the weight on my feet? So that you can find it again if you've lost it before you come back up. Okay. We're going to show to the front now. He's slowly lowering that. Yep. Perfect. And he's paused three, two, one, and he comes back up. Awesome. And one more coming down. Where's the weight on my feet? Is it centered right over an inch over the ankles? And then come back up. Awesome. Great job, John. Enjoy. 